of the mountain, where the mountain meets the moon, chapter 31, there's a little picture of the tiger. I have a prediction, but I'm not going to say it out loud. What do you think is going to happen? Min Li and the boy followed from a distance past sharp rocks and jutting boulders. The girl finally stopped in another clearing. It was only when Min Li and the boy pressed up behind one of the rocks that she realized it was once a star stone carving, and the clearing was the ruin of an abandoned house, now mostly worn away by the wind. Here, the girl said, the beast dragged my bro brother into the cave. She pointed to a strange hole in the ground. Min Li scarcely recognized it as a large abandoned well. The rocks around the opening were rough and cracked, and a ripped piece of red fabric lay torn on one of the sharp stones. Min Li looked at the boy and saw his ripped pants. He smirked. The beast, your son, the girl faltered, is in there, he also said. The tiger growled at her to continue. He said that, and the girl swallowed in fear that you would be too much of a coward to confront him. The tiger glowered ferociously, stalked to the edge of the well and snarled into the blackness. He's in there, the girl said. Do you see him? The deep well was full of shadows, but the dark water caught the reflection of the tiger's menacing eyes and sharp teeth. Full of wrath, the tiger growled at his own reflection, thinking it was a black beast. As the re reflection growled back, the tiger gave a furious roar. The roar echoed back. That's him, the girl said. He's mocking you. Outraged, the tiger clawed the stone ground and snarled again, even louder and angrier. How dare he, the girl said. He insults you. Your own son. The girl's words and his own echoing roar set the green tiger off into a frenzy. The air seemed to be charged with his uncontrollable fury. Every hair on the tiger seemed to jut like sharp spikes, and his teeth and eyes glittered like the cutting edge of a knife. He gave a deafening roar that bellowed, filling the sky with thunder. As it sound, the girl at its sound, the girl fell to the ground, and Min Li and the boy covered their ears. The tiger bared his teeth and claws for an attack, and when the roar echoed back, it overwhelmed him with wild rage. Finally, the green tiger gave one last roar and leapt into the well. The girl, boy, and Min Li stood frozen as the air filled with roars and the sound of a splashing water. Then suddenly, the wind carried one last howl into the sky. There was silence. Min Li stared in disbelief. The green tiger was gone.